Hey everyone, welcome back to The List, I'm Donna Rucco. Detroit is gaining worldwide attention for what's about to go up on the auction block tomorrow. Jimmy Rhodes has the top three stories trending around the D. And number one, make way for a very rare auction in the D. The fact that the city is releasing three of these historic trolley cars at one time is potentially a once in a lifetime opportunity. Detroit's reorganizational offering, that's the name of the auction, is selling off everything from surplus garbage trucks to snow plows to utility rigs to raise cash for the bankrupt city. But the most thrilling items are the three trolley cars that actually operated in Detroit. So is this a unique piece? Well, this potentially is, is a one of a kind piece in the world. So what might these fetch at auction? It wouldn't surprise me if if each one of these sells in the range of fifty to one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. People I've spoken with have talked about the possibility of buying them to restore them, to put them in use in Europe. Private investors who are threatening to buy them to take them overseas. If nothing else, it could be a great way to live out your childhood fantasies. All aboard! At number two, if riding the rails is your preferred mode for holiday travel, you might be in for a break this year. Amtrak is adding 18 extra trains to the Thanksgiving schedule between Michigan and Chicago destinations. In addition, several trains will have added capacity. Busiest travel days for Amtrak are the Tuesday and Wednesday before Thanksgiving and the Sunday after. And more seats are available on the morning routes than those in the afternoons and evenings. At number three, it's election day and the polls close in a matter of minutes. And that's great news for folks exhausted by politics. I dropped in on the Bobby and Stacey show at WOMC to celebrate. What's trending is people are happy it's over. My kids don't have school today because of the election, and they think it's because of their mom's birthday. And is she on the ballot? <laughs> She's not on the ballot. <laughs> At our house. She's Speaker of the House. Well, they don't have kids in school anymore on voting day. It used to be you'd go in for voting day and, like, you'd wave to your kindergartner. Yeah, why did they stop that? Because some third grader was accidentally voted in as mayor. <laughs> Thank you. Good night, everybody. Now you're caught up and clued in around the D's.